In this tutorial, you'll learn how to select segments in text and image files and define them as quotations. Along with learning about different ways to create quotations, you'll also receive a brief overview of the Quotation Manager. To start out, we already have a primary document loaded, and to mark a quotation, simply drag your cursor over it while holding down the left mouse button. As you might expect, there are a few different ways to define a data segment as a quotation. One of these is to open up the Quotations menu and choose the first item, Create Free Quotation. I'll mark another data segment by double-clicking on it to highlight a word, again to highlight a se sentence, and a third time to highlight a paragraph. To assign quotation status to this data segment, I'll click on the Quotation icon in the vertical toolbar. And a third method for creating quotations is to right-click with your mouse after selecting a data segment, and a context menu will appear. As I'm creating these quotations, you can see that brackets are appearing in the margin area, indicating that a quotation exists at that latitude of the document. Clicking on any of the brackets in the margin will highlight the corresponding segments in the primary document. The current quotation will also be visible in the Quotations drop-down list, and if I open up the list, you can also see the other quotations we've just created. To write a short note to yourself about any quotation, perhaps just a keyword for a possible code, you can right-click on a quotation bracket or on the quotation itself in the primary document and select the item Edit Comment. A text editor will appear where you can then write and save your comment, which will be represented by a triangle in the upper right-hand corner of the bracket in the margin area. One more method for creating quotations is to work with the Quotation Manager. I'll open up the Manager, select a data segment, and drag it into the Manager pane, where it will be automatically defined as a quotation. The quotation is listed according to its primary document number, followed by a colon and a number or indicating the order in which it was assigned in the document. When creating quotations using the Quotation Manager, you can simply toss them into the Manager pane, and the Quotation Manager will do the work of catching and ordering your quotations for you. When working with your Quotation Manager, double-clicking on a quotation name will automatically load the corresponding primary document and display the marked quotation in its context. Now we'll look at selecting segments from a different type of data. Creating quotations in an image file is just as easy. I'll load a sample image file here and use the mouse to define an area of the picture that I'd like to select and then click on the quotation icon. In the quotation manager, this image quotation will be defined by a turquoise dot and commented quotations are indicated by a tilde. And this concludes our mini-tutorial on selecting quotations. Thank you.